Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking. And now to this video. In this video, I'm just going to be taking all of you on a tour and location of this fabulous, fabulous Pegasus, Pegasus, sorry, Pegasus Weapons Workbench. Yes, this is a, a great piece for your collection, and it's back in the Atomic Shop, so definitely, definitely go grab it while you can. Now, let's get started. So again, as I said, it is in the Atomic Shop. As of February 20th, 2024, it is a repeat item. This is not its first appearance. Uh, it is a standalone, so that is great. I have no idea the atoms. I'm thinking anywhere between 500 atoms to 1,000. I'm thinking, leaning more towards the 500 mark. Again, we already own it, so I cannot tell you the exact amount. Now, let me show you where you build it from. So it can be built in a shelter. I'm in a shelter now. So you just go to crafting. If you just picked it up, it will be under huh, new. I just I guess I don't have any new items. But anyway, there's a category around here called new. Otherwise, you're going to go to crafting. And you're just going to go down until you find the original weapons bench. I'm going to go ahead and build the original. That way you can see the difference in the size. So here's the original or the basic no skin. And here is the Pegasus. Yes, it's going to be huge. So you're going to need a lot of room for this. Now, let me go into camera mode. Get a really good look at it. And then we'll be operating it so that you can see if, you know, there's not a lot to it. But there is some sound and some animation to it. So it's basically a, a car lift. Um, you can see some basic... Uh, tools here. Is that a blowtorch? Uh, looks like we also have the tank on the side for, I think, the blowtorch. A computer to interact with. And uh, the machine. And then you got this fabulous, fabulous car. And I believe it is what is the Pegasus. Let's see if we can find a name on the car anywhere. No license plate. Let me go over top. Later on, I'm going to take you to my woodland retreat. That way you can see it outside, how well it looks on the outside of a house. All right. Now let me interact with it. And I'll turn it around so that it's also in the light because it's a little shady. But as you can see, it does go up. And I believe everyone that's around you will see this. So there is a car lift. Unfortunately, I'm unable, I'm pretty sure unable to go into camera mode. Yes, while I'm in here. And yeah, basically you just continue looking at the car and typing things on the keyboard. That's the entire animation. All right, so now let me go to that Woodlands Retreat I mentioned. That way you can see what it looks like outside. It's outside of a nice size house. I actually do really like the Woodland Retreat. It's a prefab, four story. It does have some issues because it's so tall, but if you set it right, you can actually build up in the attic. So it's still really, really nice prefab. I landed low, so I'm gonna fast travel one more time and it'll drop me in the house this time. I think my location only has two fast travel points and one is this closet. All right, let me go outside. I'm on a cliff. So, actually I went the wrong way. So the car is out here. So it looks like, yeah, kind of got it parked. Though so you're wondering, Maybe it's a flying car, because, yeah, to get it up here, but anyway. Here it is, beside a house. Now, I didn't see any markings. Let me go into camera mode, that way you can look inside it. 
oh, too close. So you do have I, pretty good details on the inside. The car's in really good shape. See your radio, the steering wheel, the upholstery is really good shape. See if I can get, yeah, I might not be able to get this side very good. Again, more of the upholstery. So overall, I think they did a really good job. And if you like uh, getting stuff for your camp, I think this is definitely, definitely a must-have. All right, if you have any questions about this, you'd like me to test before you buy, that's what these videos are for. As you saw in the previous area, it is a very large workstation, but I definitely, definitely think it's worth the buy, especially if it's on sale. I don't, I can't tell from my end. All right, that's it for me, Deathclaw Girl out. Happy gaming, happy shopping, and happy building. Check you guys later. Want more? Like, share, and leave a comment.